great digital reset. What if the internet forgot everything? An exploration of memory, identity, and the fragile reality we've built in the cloud. Introduction, the ghost in the machine. We think of the internet as a tool, a utility like electricity or running water. But it has become something far more profound, our collective nervous system. It is where we store our memories, our knowledge, our relationships, and our very identities. It is the external hard drive for humanity's consciousness. This video explores a single, haunting question. What if that hard drive was wiped clean? Not by an explosion, but by a silent, global amnesia. A great digital reset. This is not a story about technology failing, but about humanity confronting the void it has willingly created. We will journey through the immediate shock, the collapse of societal pillars, the profound psychological crisis of self, and the painful, hopeful dawn of a new world. This is a philosophical inquiry into what we lose when we outsource our memory and what we might rediscover about ourselves when it's gone. The unthinkable questions that haunt us. The memory paradox. If a memory exists only in the cloud and no one on earth can remember it, did it ever truly happen? The identity crisis. Are you the person you remember or the person the internet says you are? What remains when that digital mirror shatters? The burden of freedom. Is this catastrophe the ultimate prison break from our curated online selves? Or the beginning of a new dark age? Prologue, the silent bomb. It begins not with a bang but with a whisper of nothingness, on a morning indistinguishable from any other. Billions reach for their devices, but the screens offer only a quiet, uniform confession. 404 not found. There is no crash, no error message, just an infinite blank slate. Social media feeds are empty. Search engines return zero results. Cloud storage drives display a pristine, terrifying void. The constant hum of global information has been replaced by a silence so deep it is deafening. This is the digital vanishing act. The ghost has left the machine, and we are left alone in a suddenly cavernous, empty world. Chapter 1 the day the world went idle, societal collapse. The immediate aftermath is not mere inconvenience. It is the instantaneous paralysis of modern civilization. The psychological impact is a global panic attack. Economic cardiac arrest. Digital currencies evaporate. Stock markets, mere collections of ones and zeros, cease to exist. Supply chains, 
managed by invisible algorithms, snap. Trucks don't know where to go. Ships sit idle in ports. The flow of goods from food to medicine grinds to a halt. The concept of a global economy becomes meaningless within hours. Governance in a vacuum. How do you govern without records? Electoral rolls, legal databases, tax information, national archives, all gone. The very rule of law codified in digital formats, is unenforceable. Governments are rendered blind, deaf, and mute, facing chaos without the data to understand it. The knowledge gap. A surgeon cannot access a patient's digital medical history. A pilot cannot download flight plans. An engineer cannot find the blueprints for a water treatment plant. Our expertise has become dependent on instant recall from a digital brain. Without it, we are instantly de-skilled, facing problems we no longer remember how to solve. Chapter 2. The Great Unlearning. The Death of Progress. As the initial shock subsides, a deeper, more insidious reality sets in. The loss of our collective memory. This is the great unlearning. Academic and scientific oblivion. Decades of research, peer-reviewed papers, and scientific data. The building blocks of progress are obliterated. We are thrown back to a pre-digital age of knowledge. But without the foundational text that preceded it, how do you prove a scientific theory when the evidence is gone? Cultural amnesia, films, music, literature, and art stored exclusively in digital formats are lost forever. Our cultural heritage, increasingly curated online, vanishes. Future generations will have gaping holes in their understanding of the 21st century. History becomes a matter of rumor and folklore. The regression of communication. With no internet, we revert to analog methods. But the skills are rusty. The landline network, overwhelmed, fails. The written letter becomes paramount, but who remembers how to mail one? The very act of sharing information becomes slow, deliberate, and local. Chapter 3. The Crisis of Self, Identity in a Blank Slate World The most profound damage is not to our systems, but to our souls. The erasure of our digital footprints triggers a universal identity crisis. The erased timeline, your life, meticulously documented in photos, messages, and social media posts, is gone. The digital journal of your existence has been closed and burned. You cannot prove your graduation, your wedding, your child's first steps. Your personal history becomes a story you tell with no evidence to back it up. Who am I without my feed? Our identities are performative, shaped by likes, shares, and curated profiles. When that audience and that performance vanish, 
Who is left? The you that existed for others is gone. Forcing a confrontation with the you that exists only for yourself. This leads to a deep psychological toll, a grief for a life that has left no tangible trace. Professional invalidation, a graphic designer without their software and portfolio. A writer without their cloud save manuscripts. An influencer without their platform. The skills and reputations built in the digital realm are instantly invalidated. Forcing a brutal reevaluation of personal worth and purpose. Chapter 4 Analog Rediscovery Humanity's Last Stand. From the ashes of despair, a flicker of primal resilience emerges. Humanity begins the long, arduous process of rebuilding, not from the cloud, but from the ground up. The resurrection of the physical. Libraries, once seen as relics, become the most valuable places on earth. People dust off encyclopedias, paper maps, and technical manuals. Forgotten skills, farming, mechanics, basic medicine, become the new currency of survival. The rise of oral tradition and community. Knowledge is passed down through stories once again. The elder who remembers how to can food or fix an engine becomes a vital community leader. Trust is rebuilt not through digital verification, but through face-to-face -face interaction and mutual dependence. Localized communities become the center of the universe. A renaissance of tangible reality. With the digital distraction gone, people reconnect with the physical world. They notice the seasons, the stars, the needs of their neighbors. There is a painful but profound appreciation for what is real, immediate, and tangible. Chapter 5 A New Dawn – The Future of Knowledge The Great Digital Reset forces a fundamental reevaluation of what progress truly means. The crisis births a new philosophy of preservation. The imperative of redundancy, the folly of storing humanity's knowledge in a single, fragile system becomes painfully clear. A global movement begins to create multiple, physical, and decentralized archives. A doomsday library etched on stone, metal, and analog formats designed to last millennia. Rethinking digital reliance. Was our path toward total digital immersion a dangerous one? The reset sparks a philosophical debate about the balance between technological convenience and existential risk. Progress is redefined not as the relentless pursuit of the new, but as the wise preservation of the essential. The enduring power of human ingenuity, the story ultimately becomes one of hope. It demonstrates that our greatest tool is not the smartphone, but the human mind. Our greatest resource is not data, but community. The internet was a product of human ingenuity, and that ingenuity remains, ready to build again. But perhaps next time, with more wisdom. Conclusion 
unburdened, but remembering. The world that emerges from the great digital reset is quieter, slower, and more fragile, but also more authentic. The constant noise of curated lives and instant gratification is replaced by the challenging, rewarding work of building a real life. We are left with a paradox. The loss is immeasurable. Centuries of knowledge, countless personal histories, the very fabric of our global society. It is a tragedy of epic proportions. Yet, in the silence, we rediscovered the sound of our own voice. In the emptiness, we rediscovered the value of a handshake. The weight of a printed book. The truth in a loved one's eyes. The internet forgot everything, and in doing so, forced us to remember what truly matters. We are unburdened from our digital baggage, but we must carry the memory of this lesson forward. That while technology can expand our reality, it should never be allowed to replace it. The future, should we choose to build a new one, will be built not just with code, but with caution and with the enduring understanding that some memories are too precious to be entrusted to a machine.